Hey, welcome back. On my bench today, I have another piece of gear that was waiting many, many years for restoration. It's finally here today. Um, this is a realistic TM1001 AM FM stereo tuner. Uh, this is something I bought brand new when I was a back in the day. I even have the receipt right here. It was purchased 23rd day of, uh, what is that, August 1979. Paid a whopping $189.95 Canadian. And uh, still have the receipt, still have the owner's manual. The nice thing about the owner's manual is on the last page it has a schematic. And this is something I've been looking for online I can't seem to find, but uh, realistic puts them in their, in their owner's manuals. Uh, is a courtesy and I think that's great so let's have a look at it it's filthy it's got cobwebs on it it's covered in mung and uh, it's gonna need a full clean and uh, as far as I know it works I could try it out now I guess it's got a few good features of course, it's got the two, team, two uh, meters for tuning, uh, FM, mono, auto. Um, it's got a 25 microsecond de-emphasis. You can select narrow or wide bandwidth on your IF. And uh, it's got this auto magic tuning, which is a phase lock loop. You turn that on, and when you touch the knob, it detects the capacitance, and it turns off the phase lock loop. And then once you tune your station in, you let go of the knob and it detects that again and it turns the phase lock loop back on. So it's kind of a nice feature. Um, seen a lot of hours on this thing. A lot of FM listening when I was in my high school days. And uh, yeah, it's it served me well, but uh, it looks like it needs some help. So let's plug it in and try it out. So I just remembered I don't have a bench amplifier here anymore. I took it down and I'm scrapping it, but uh, I just plugged it in. Let's try the uh, lights off. So all the lights are working. Here's that auto magic I was telling you about when you touch the knob, it goes off. Let's see if we can pick something up on AM. And I'm getting absolutely nothing. Oh, we need some lubrication. Oh, there's a station. Oh, we got a station here at uh, 790. So it's still working. Let's try FM. I'm going to hook up a piece of wire for the antenna. Look at that. It's pulling in FM stations. It doesn't feel very good, like it's got uh, kind of a cheap feel to the tuning here. You get a nice receiver and you turn that knob, you can feel it's... So we're going to address that. But uh, it's picking up stations. So... We'll open it up, see what it needs. If it needs caps, we'll put them in and go for a full alignment, clean up, and we'll bring this thing back. So just a look at the back. It's got a built-in antenna for AM. Uh, it's got provision for an external AM antenna, balanced 300 ohm FM, unbalanced 75 ohm FM. Output's got a variable output, so you can adjust that, which is a nice feature. And um, half amp fuse, that's pretty much it. How much to this? So, inside looks pretty clean. going on here. 
Mostly cleaning up the outside will be the big job. And then uh, I expect the alignment. I don't find, I think I'll find too many bad caps in this thing, but we're going to check some of these on the power supply board here. Maybe replace all these in the power supply. There's a handful there. And that should be it. And I put a proper heat sink in there. Look at what I did when I was a kid. Put a heat sink on that. What's that from? <laughs> I don't know. But it worked. So I was just going through cleaning this and I have a, had a good laugh because I saw some of the mods I did to this thing when I was uh, younger. And uh, I just want to show you a few of them. Okay, I think you saw the heat sink mod. This piece of aluminum tacked on there with some fins. The uh, Another one I did, well I think I put that knob on the back for the uh, the output level. I'm pretty sure I did that. And oh, this is the one here. When uh, you're in AM, you only have okay. When this is FM, you got both lights on, both meters on. So I rewired it so that when you're on AM, this light goes off because you're not using this meter on AM. This is the multipath meter for the FM. You're only using tuning on the AM band. So I thought that was better because it kind of was confusing having two meters on AM and uh, this kind of tells you like you're only going to be looking at that one so but then when you're on FM you, both meters come alive. I did that one. Oh the knobs. The knobs had that frosted aluminum just like these buttons. What I did is I didn't like that. They did, didn't match my amplifier. So what I did is I took the knobs off and I spun them and looks like I might have done this with a file or something. It looks really rough. I have to clean these up. They're really bad. But uh, I'll go through and sand these down nicer. But uh, what do you do when you feel like your tuning doesn't have enough weight to it? Well, <laughs> you add more weight. <laughs> so I jammed some copper and some lead in here. And just to give this more feel, better feel. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of okay and aside from that I don't think I've done any other mods just those few little things to make the experience that much better okay I got the bottom off it looks very nice I expect this is probably the same chassis they'd use for a receiver because they got all this empty space in here now they could have slapped in a big power transformer and a power amplifier and that would have been your receiver. But uh, probably use the same chassis for multiple units. But I just want to zoom in here and show you one thing. Hang on. Okay, if you look here, what you're looking at is the business end of the mode switch. The mode switch switches between AM and FM. And this is the mod I made for the meter light takes an unused portion of one of these switches and I I just use that to click it on and off but I do have uh, cracked solder joints on these last two I don't know if you can see that on the camera and then the two mounts let me try pushing on this yeah there's a little bit of movement there so I'm just going to fix this up right now So the other ones look okay, and uh, the board looks okay. Everything else is fine. That's the only thing I saw so far. But uh, this will be nice to work on because you got full access underneath. So my plan is to fix that. I have some slop in this shaft in the in the in the the housing. It's uh, pretty flopping in there. So my plan is, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to back this off, insert some grease. I want to get some grease on this shaft. And I think that'll smooth out the operation. 
and give it a little more viscous feel and uh, hopefully get rid of that. So let's try that right now. There's a circlip here. I need to pop the circlip off. You don't make it easy. Hmm. I need a pair of candy of those. I just don't want it flying across the room. There we go. Stabbed my finger, but I got it. Okay. Get that plastic washer off. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to move this out of the way. And I don't want the string to come apart. Now, yeah, there's grease in there, but it's just like really dried out. this back you know what that screwed me up this Okay, it looks like I'll be restringing this, so I'll shut this, fix this up. Okay, restringing a tuner 101. So, we need to have at least two wraps on the shaft. And what happened here is this all came apart. So let's try and let's see here. Start now. I gotta get this other one. Oops. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Okay, that's full. Okay, let's um, put this shaft back together.
Look at that. It's working great now. There's no noise. I might have to uh, readjust the... Oh, no, actually it shouldn't be need a readjusting it. The string went back exactly where it came from. So, seems to be working now. And uh, it's a lot quieter. It's nice. Okay, so I've gone through and done a few things. I re-greased the tuning shaft. Got rid of that awful noise. I um, went through and checked the ESR on the power supply capacitors and they were all good and I checked a few in here they're all good I'm not going to touch capacitors in this thing it doesn't need it I uh, put a little bit better heat sink on that transistor even though originally from the factory it came without a heat sink I just uh, put that one on there just to make it look a little better and then I added an LED for the dial light. I'm not big on that. I'm not a big fan of that LED. Look at this. Oh, I don't even have the front on. Let me put it back together and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, got the dial assembled. I just want to show you what it looks like with the LED installed. I really don't know. If, let me get the front cover on. The front. Uh, done cleaning this yet. Come on. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm going to go back to the incandescent. Problem is, this incandescent has got a lot of hours on it. And you can see the inside of the glass is smoked. So that's not going to last much longer. And I don't have any replacements right now in these fuse style. I'd like to find out where to buy these. 8 volt lamps. Oh, okay. All right, so I got it uh, aligned and uh, back together for the most part. Um, the AM, the AM was pretty straightforward. It uh, it uh, helped uh, the uh, the sensitivity quite a bit, and uh, the FM was a bit of a trick to dial in, but overall. Uh, a little bit of improvement with the alignment on both AM and FM, so I'm happy with that. Um, cleaned up nice. There was no caps that were needing a uh, replacement. They're all relatively good. And uh, it's going to go be a... You know, the AM band is working. That's a... Uh, not a, a local station. That's a station that's actually 100 mi 180 miles away so it's bringing it in and I was just like yeah it's got some good strength from the signals oh, but it's really the community that we it really oh, knocks in there good you know average to that Considering all the noise I have on my bench here in the FM. Works great. I don't even have an antenna hooked up. I have my signal generator hooked up to the output and it's pulling the stations. Good strength too. Sounds good. Hello, it's Jeff from Reliance. The first... There's a weak one.
<laughs> you hey hole, I got all the time in the world. <laughs> I like when you're the middle child. They gave the family dog my name. And I'm giving them a helping grant. One thousand dollars. this mom she's like right. j'ai fait un entrevue avec euh, Véronique Lauzon pour la presse yeah works great um, put a decent antenna on it and it would really rock All right, thanks for watching.